Let's talk more about cowboy boots or Western boots. I'm wearing them right now. So why don't I take them off to demonstrate? And I guess what's gonna happen is my height's gonna drop <laughs> once I take them off. Boot number one, boot number two. So for the sake of this video and me talking about cowboy boots, I guess I should show them. I'm not necessarily holding them in the entire video, but I do want to show you what my boots look like. And uh, again, these are definitely Cody James. I bought these a few weeks ago. I happened to get them half off at the boot barn, uh, a place near where I live in Tennessee. So I'm very happy about these. I've been wearing, wearing them all day, every day actually, in my own house as I work from home and just further breaking them in. I mean, I was a little bit scared when I first got them because I'm like, these are kind of very painful actually. Like when I tried them on, I took a lot of time in making sure I got the right size and then they were just pure pain for like the first day. And then by the fourth day, it was nothing and now they feel like socks. I'm not kidding when I say that. So here's my boots. I'm very happy about these. Not only because I got them half off, because if you, if you look online and try to find Cody James boots like this with the turquoise on them, they're gonna be closer to $200, whereas I paid $94.99 is what I paid for these. They have, I'm kind of covering it up, but got the rubber heel on that. So yeah, and that's gonna add some height <laughs> on, uh, for a guy who's 5'9", it's gonna make me average height. So that's not why I do it. I, I did this because I wanted these. I just flat out wanted them, I thought they were cool. And yes, they also had ones that were just brown all over, you know, or black, but out of all of them, I like these the most, I thought. That's most the extension of my personality, these. Okay, now that you've seen them, let's talk about a comment that I received this morning. So this morning when I woke up, I saw I had received this comment on a previous video I made called, cowboy boots make men look taller and more handsome and girls cuter. That was the video, I, I filmed it not that long ago. You can check it out on this, com on this channel. So the, here, here's the comment from Recall. He says, quote, I'm sorry, but this would not work in the UK. We would get laughed at, end quote. So here's what I'm here to say. Maybe you're right, I don't know. I've never been to Europe. I've been to Asia, I've been to Thailand, Korea. I've been to, I've been to Ecuador, you know, in South America. I've been to New Zealand. I've been to Trinidad and Tobago. I've never been to Europe. I don't know if you would get laughed at or not but maybe it would bring to life this concept of a stereotypical redneck American and, and that wouldn't, because here in the United States, when, we, when I think of the UK specifically, when I think of England, I think of this place where the people are very mannerly and proper. So this concept of cowboy boots is just like kind of a rude guy that just walks around thinking he's in charge of everything. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm right. But it is an interesting concept. I can tell you this, here in the United States, if you are hashtag brave enough to wear cowboy boots, you're seen as more attractive. I mean, it's one of the most obvious hacks for a man in the United States. And no one really talks about it because I think a lot of times they just go all the other way around with the concept that, okay, well, if you wear boots, then, then you gotta have the shirts and the hats and the belt buckle. You don't have to, you could. But the boots is the main thing. That's what makes men perceived as attractive. I know a lot of, a lot of guys who are especially who are younger put so much emphasis on their actual physical looks. In reality, if you're a guy who takes care of yourself and you're fit and you're healthy and you're active and you're funny and you have boots on that you don't actually talk about, you wait for the other person to start talking about it. It goes a long way for guys here in the United States. So. Uh, I, but I, I can appreciate what's being said. In the UK, maybe it's not that way. No, in Australia, I can imagine cowboy boots might be even more popular than they are here uh, in the United States. But I don't know. What I would like is for this conversation to continue on without me. I'm done talking. I want you to tell me more about what it's like in the UK and this concept of why people would laugh at you if you wore these boots because no one's laughing at me over here. I'm only receiving compliments. And again, I'm not going around Look at my new boots. No, people notice them immediately and then compliment. And then I pull up my pants leg and show them the turquoise and then they're like, oh wow, that's really cool. So 
There you go. Teach me what else I need to know about what it's like in the UK in regards to cowboy boots. Or maybe you are here in the United States and you can back me up on what I'm saying. It's an unspoken rule, it's a well-kept secret that one of the easiest ways to be perceived as a more attractive male is to own cowboy boots. Your comments belong right here.